Hey Aries, this is going to be a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And it is general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you. And that is completely okay. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box and the roles here can be reversed. All right, so let's see what is going on with Aries. First half of June. Aries. Okay, so we got three. We have signs, soulmate, and cycles. Okay, so the universe has been sending out signals. There have been signs that are pointing in the direction of movement towards a soulmate. Okay, so this could either be for you towards a particular person or it could be um, for somebody else when it comes to you. All right, um, but we also have cycles. So I feel like if that it feels like for you that things may have been repeating themselves, that you feel like you're just kind of going through the same thing over and over and over again. So let's actually get into this and see. So what is going on here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of June, 2021. Okay, for the situation, we have the Nine of Cups crossed by the Tower. Ooh, okay. So yeah, there... Somebody really knows what they want here, and somebody really wishes, really desires, really wants to have um, this connection here. All right, now the issue is this Tower not being allowed to fall, which means kind of like resisting a major shift, a major change that needs to happen in order to have this wish fulfillment. So it could be you or it could be your person. Let's see for the recent past, we have the 10 of swords for the near future. We have the Hierophant. Okay, so it feels like there has been an ending of some sort in the recent past that felt very, very painful. All right, having the Hierophant though in the near future, this, this could be a couple of different things, but it does also feel like it's really feeling a deep spiritual connection with somebody, all right? Especially since we also have the soulmate card. For your energy, we have the hanged man. For them, we have the four of swords. More about you, we have strength. <clears throat> For them, we have the star. And potential outcome here is the knight of pentacles. And a message for you is the chariot, okay? Which is a lot of... Fast movement, um, possibly in a new direction, um, <clears throat> something just feeling also very new, maybe a little bit impulsive, maybe a little bit unexpected as well. So, so you having the hanged man and strength. So it feels like you're just really trying to hang in there, basically. You're trying to be strong. You're trying to just kind of take a step back, observe the situation, possibly giving it time or just giving yourself time. And it's definitely not, not easy for you. For them, the Four of Swords and the Star, that's a lot of healing. That's double healing right here. So it could feel like things are a little bit at a standstill at the moment, okay? Because I'm seeing pretty passive energies from both, both of you, both sides. However, I do also feel like this person really wants this connection with you. All right, with a star, this is like a wish. So it could be that it's your person here in the um, for the situation and the main energy. But having that Knight of Pentacles for the potential outcome here tells me that things are moving in the right direction. They might be, it might feel like it's taking forever. It might feel like things are moving slowly. But I feel like this may also have to do with some trust here. So we'll see. Let's Let's clarify. So let's clarify the Nine of Cups with the Tower. Okay, so 
So we have the Two of Cups. Wow, the Ace of Cups and the Six of Swords. So yeah, talk about love. I mean, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of wishing for this. All right, this is a very deep and strong connection, okay, that, you're, that you have with somebody and that somebody also feels towards you. And like I said, you know, there are signs. There are signs that are being given, I feel actually to the both of you, you're both seeing different signs that are reminding you of each other. Okay, because I also do feel like this connection has had some kind of a painful a painful ending or there was possibly some kind of a, a betrayal maybe. The issue though is really somebody being able to move to a calmer state of mind in order to be able to just release this tower and allow it to, to come down, which is a big shift. Something needs to change drastically in order for this to manifest. Let's, let's clarify the hanged man for your energy. The Three of Swords, the Strength card again, and the Chariot showing up again. All right, so maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo, maybe a Cancer. All right, I'm just calling out some signs that I'm um, seeing stand out to me here, especially when they're showing up twice. Okay, wow. There's a lot of pain that you are still experiencing and I feel like maybe that's why you're taking a step back you're trying to be really really strong in order to endure this pain or in order to really process it but it could also be that you're really trying to move in a new direction to get away from this pain it almost comes through as you kind of wondering why you're still feeling this way why have I not been able to move on why am I still in this situation, why am I still having these thoughts or these feelings? And so I feel like you might, you might be a little bit too harsh on yourself because you really have worked on your strength. And I'm not sure how aware of that you actually are. Let's, let's see strength. And I also, I'm, I'm also getting here that it's almost as if you're letting you're letting something stop you from moving forward. There's there's a direction that you want to take. And it could even be a fear of pain for some of you. A fear of the pain holding you back even though you do have that strength to move forward in a direction that you want to go in. And it doesn't matter if it's away from this person, even if you feel like this person is your soulmate, even if you're getting signs and you feel like, you know, but, but there's a cycle here that needs to be broken. So just take that as it resonates. So clarifying strength, we have the Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you, you have what it takes. You have that strength in order to move forward. You have what it takes to take some action towards moving, moving in a direction that is going to bring some balance here into your life. It could even be, you know, that there's somewhere in your life that you, some areas in your life that you are not paying enough attention to and kind of like... Um, misdirecting your energy, giving more energy to something that might not be helping you and not enough energy to what would be helping you, okay? So what would be helping you is the strength that you have. You have built up a lot of strength. You have built up a lot of courage. And I feel like you're just like not using it. And it's there. It's there for you to use. Let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the four of swords. Yeah, and the I'm sorry. The other message that just came through is, you know, don't don't give energy to the fear, to a fear of pain. If you if you're giving energy to that fear of pain, you're just creating more of that of that fear. 
and possibly even feeling more pain than what you would normally be feeling. Okay, so do keep that in mind as well. So for the Four of Swords, we have the Two of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Page of Wands. All right, okay, so that's a lot of fire here. That's a lot of your energy showing up in this person's energy. So I do get that this person is thinking a lot about you. Again, the roles can be reversed. Um, maybe you're dealing with another fire sign as well. I feel like this person is almost in a similar kind of an energy as you, holding back, holding back some power in reserve. They're healing. There's definitely a lot of healing here, but there's also some passivity when it comes to actually going after what it is that they want. Let me see the star. Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Okay, so that is quite a bit that came out here for this person. What is going on? I Because it's interesting to me because I feel like it's like you're both holding back from each other. So there must be a reason. There must be a reason why this, this connection got to this point. All right, something was happening over and over and over again, as I said. And... I feel like one of you is trying to move away from this connection, the other person is trying to move towards this connection, but both of you are, are holding back from those intentions. So for your person here, they're having a hard time moving in the direction that they want to move towards, and I, and I feel like it's your person who wants to move towards you and that you might be moving away. Could be the other way around, okay, just take it as it makes sense. They know what they want. See, here's the action with the Ace of Swords, and then here's not taking action with the Two of Swords. Why? Because they're feeling like this is very, very challenging. There's something that is very, very difficult here, and what I feel it is, is them not trusting their own self, that they have what it takes as well in order to move towards what they want. Almost as if they feel like they don't deserve to have what they truly want. Okay, which is you, because I see this wish being here. I don't, I don't see them having given up with that Nine of Wands and the Ace of Swords. They have not given up, but they're also not trusting the situation at the moment. It's like they do and they don't. On the one hand, they have this hope that it will come together. On the other hand, they don't trust their own selves that they can actually... make this decision. Let's see the higher things. And for some of you, it could be that this person is just not trusting the situation. Not, not themselves, but the situation. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords showing up again, clarifying the higher thing for the near future. Again, it just feels like it feels like there's a very strong connection here that is um, pretty much feeling feeling like it's coming to an end, and there's a feeling of loss associated to that, a fear or um, a feeling of being alone. I don't think that this is what what it's going to end up as, though, because we do have the Knight of Pentacles up here. For the potential outcome and then we also have the chariot as the message for you so i feel like what's happening here is coming up it's going to feel like this is done there's a reason for that and this is because a cycle needs to be broken so that you don't keep going around and around and around again all right the love is definitely there and a lot of it but it's like you're both kind of just staying stuck until you're not stuck. Because <laughs> that's that's what I see happening here. 
All right, there's, it's like this situation is finally coming to a peak. There's going to be a peak in this ending or this pain, whatever it is, and then things are going to get on a roll. Things are getting in the right direction here. So once that cycle is broken, that's when the direction changes. So let's clarify, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there you go. We have the Ten of Wands, the Lovers, and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is definitely the heaviness, the burden, um, just all of that weight being released, all the heaviness being released and moving in the direction of love. All right, somebody is putting in a lot of effort here and it's the right type of effort. It's the right kind of effort and also finding that, finding that trust again, whether it be in oneself or whether it be in this connection or in the other person. And I feel like once that happens, there you have it, the chariot. Things just really getting on a roll and things quickly, quickly changing direction. So I'm actually going to clarify that. So let's see, the chariot. Ooh, okay, the star and the ten of cups. So there you go, once that cycle is broken, once you are able to actually use your strength and move in the direction that will bring you balance, I feel like that, that is setting things in motion. And that would also help this person at the same time, all right, to do whatever it is that they need to do as well. To find that trust within themselves, to take that action towards what it is that they truly want. Um, once all of that happens, that is when the cycle is broken and that is when things are in alignment and moving towards this love, towards that ultimate happiness. So it's like a huge, huge shift at the end here. Alright, Aries. So if this resonated, let's get a final message for you. And we have a look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. Yeah, because it does feel like things are feeling really, really um, intense at the moment. Heavy and intense. But look at the bigger picture. You have that strength to do what is best for you. And that's really all that matters. And then let this come in. The chariot bringing that healing energy, wish fulfillment, as well as just pure happiness and bliss. So, all right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.